I have my desk pulled out here adding a new monitor arm. So I thought I'd uh, just shoot a real quick video, let you guys see it uh, in case somebody else is looking at this model. So uh, there's the name. Uh, no way I'm going to pronounce it right, but we'll go with uh, Wanu. Wanau? I, I don't know. Uh, it is a single monitor arm, but they also have it in a double version, which I've had that one for a while. I've just added this one. So let's uh, see how it works and I'll let you know my thoughts. Uh, normally I tell you to hold my beverage, but I guess hold my monitor. So this arm is one of those, you know, highly articulating ones where you can swing it all around and everything. Uh, kind of hard to do while I'm holding the camera here, but uh, it's got a spring mechanism in it that kind of keeps it in place. Um, so you can move it down. See, there it's down on the desk and you can move it back up, which that's that spring mechanism. Uh, that is adjusted by this bolt right here. Uh, you got to be careful with that, though, because if you do not have that adjusted right, your monitor will just drop onto the desk and, uh, you know, potentially damage your monitor, damage the desk. It's one of those things you got to make sure you got to get you get it right. Um, another thing is this thing does come in the box kind of folded up. So there's a lot of tension on that spring. You need to be careful when you take it out that you don't hurt yourself in the process. All right, as for hooking onto the desk, I'm using the clamp here, uh, which has this piece that bolts right here onto the bottom of the monitor arm. And then another part that bolts onto it where this bolt goes through and then we'll clamp the desk. There's also another part that you can bolt onto the arm that actually has a bolt that would go through the desk if you wanted to drill a hole through your desk and have something a little more permanent. I chose to go this route in case I wanna kind of move things around. The mechanism for hooking to the monitor actually I think is pretty great. Uh, it has a plate that just bolts onto the back of your monitor and then it slides onto the arm here with the screw that goes into the top holding it in place. It's a pretty, uh, pretty good way of being able to get the monitor on there without having to hold it up while you tighten screws and everything. So definitely thankful for that over some other monitors. Uh, monitor arms that I've had in the past. Now, one area of this that I'm not a fan of is this cable management system. So it's actually a solid piece of plastic that gets screwed onto the bottom here. And you gotta make sure to get your cables in just the right place to not interfere with the screw and to get it in place, which that's a bit of a pain. It's not so bad on the top one, but the bottom one's where you really get into the difficulty. When you come down to this bottom one, the cable actually has to go in on the side here and then it comes back out on the side at the bottom and you have spots on both sides uh, for the cables to be able to go in and do that but trying to keep those in place and get this thing bolted on is really not easy so they could have done better with that I mean it's not impossible clearly I've done it well I've done it three times <laughs> but it is really my least favorite part of the process of setting these up. So big advantage of this style of monitor arm is that you can really move the monitor anywhere you want. You can move it back and forth, up and down. So if I want this lower, I can bring it down. I have a lot of flexibility. Downside to it is because of that flexibility, that also means you can get a lot more wobble. So if I just kind of shake my desk a little, you can, you know, you can see <laughs> the monitors get pretty wobbly. So if you're a very aggressive gamer or something like that, I would suggest going with more of a fixed arm than one of these articulating ones. Get it to where you want it, leave it, and it'll be a lot more solid. My desk is one of those sit-stand desks, and right now I do have it in a standing position. I'll uh, put a link in the description to where I built this, uh, so if you're interested in that, you can see it. I will say, 
if I'm seated, the monitor wobbles not as bad as when I'm standing. So, you know, take that for what it is. If you want this where you're going to be doing gaming sitting down, maybe this monitor arm might be all right for you. But still, I think if you're a very vigorous person, really moving your mouse around like crazy, it might not be what you want to do. I would still suggest the fixed arm for you. All right, well, there you have it. My quick review on the monitor arm that I cannot pronounce the name of. Uh, this is the second one that I purchased, right? So I had the double one and the single one, and they both have worked really well. The price on them was great. Uh, again, the two caveats with it is the cable management's a pain and the fact that they wobble around a lot if you jostle the desk. So those are things to bear in mind as you're shopping for a monitor arm, but if you can live with those, I actually, I think I'd recommend these. I've been pretty pleased with the double arm, and I think I'm going to be with the single arm as well. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully this uh, video has been helpful. Uh, if it has, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to see other things that I do or other reviews, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you back. Uh, thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful day.